So I'm back guys, obviously it's been a while since I've been uh, vlogging simply because I've had so much going on uh, but now we're back and the vlog will be covering Ramadan, Ramadan training and Ramadan nutrition uh, so yeah, uh, hope you enjoy it and this will be the vlog So I'm just going to my local Aziz supermarket and I'm just going to go through basically the essentials nothing in too much depth in terms of what we need to get for Ramadan uh, Firstly what I'm going to get is uh, almond milk I have for almond milk over the usual milk simply because it's got a lot more uh, vitamins, minerals and higher in calcium. So we'll get this. Uh, next is going to be the rice pudding. Rice pudding. Uh, oats could get kind of boring so I always get rice pudding. It's got a high source of sugar and it's longer lasting, good carbohydrate in all fairness. I know it's high in sugars but I wouldn't worry too much about sugars. Uh, in this month because obviously you're going to go 18, 19 hours without food. So yeah, I always feel this is a good, another good one. Obviously, in my opinion, uh, the most important one is going to be the oats. Uh, oats are going to have this pretty much throughout the, well, for the four or five hour gap which we are going to have. So they're going to have a lot of oats and obviously I'll go through that. So oats is also a must. Uh, next thing which I feel is an essential or a must I'll say a necessity for Ramadan. I personally think it's not in Ramadan without dates. It's going to be the dates. Uh, highly rich in nutrition. Uh, I usually say four or five of these I'll cook into a meal. So uh, these are going to be a must and I'll uh, break down in more depth in regards to what we can do with these later. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is a tour through uh, the Ramadan shake. The Ramadan shake could be taken any time to be fair, any time in the four hour gap where we're not going to be eating. Obviously we're going to be fasting for 19 to 20 hours uh, during the month of Ramadan. So it's very important in that four hour gap what we do have is make sure we've got the correct nutrition to keep us going. Not only through the day, uh, throughout the day but whilst we want to train and obviously maintain some sort of physique or to lose weight. Very simple to be fair, what we're going to do first and foremost is get some oats obviously as you know oats are absolutely essential for anything and everything uh, a good source of carbohydrates so these are going to be absolutely massive for ramadan because obviously they're going to keep us going throughout the day like i says uh, the 19 to 20 hours we are going to be fasting uh, i always opt uh, for 60 to 70 grams which will be about about there. Uh, obviously I've been uh, weighing my food long enough so I know what 60 to 70 grams will look like and if you haven't uh, then your best bet would be to uh, get a scale. Uh, next what I'm going to put into there would be some almonds. Uh, the whole purpose of almonds is get some good fats as well as some vitamins uh, in here. So probably a handful, so roughly about six or seven. So they go into there. After the Almonds, it's going to be the dates. Uh, dates are absolutely massive in nutritional values, to be fair. Full of magnesium, full of zinc, uh, full of vitamins, full of minerals. And obviously, if you're going to be fasting for a long period of time, it's important to get this sort of, uh, well, the important, also I say, the essentials of day-to-day -day basis in your system. Uh, they also say five dates is equivalent to a meal. So I'm going to put five of them in there. Uh, don't get me wrong, obviously they have a lot of sugars in there, but we're not really in a position to order say, oh, we can knock out sugars, because obviously we're going to need as much nutrition, or I'd say good nutrition in our body, and obviously when we're getting some good nutrition, it's going to hold some sort of sugar in there. So that would be one, two, and I'll put five in there. Next, what we got in there is the Udas oil. Udas oil is absolutely wicked for all the healthy fats. Uh, with the healthy fats, what you got to realise is, during the month of Ramadan, we are going to be dehydrated so joints are going to start aching or feeling in some sort of pain so what this will do is keep everything lubricated from your elbows to your ball and socket joints as well as giving us the essential fats which we're going to need in order to function day to day so just a teaspoon of this to top it up uh, I always opt for casein of protein uh, why I use casein is because it is a longer lasting protein so therefore it will keep us um, keep us fueled for a longer period of time. Uh, each scoop has 30 grams of protein, so if I put two scoops in there, we're looking at about 60 grams of protein per shake. So that's pretty good to be fair. So there's one. And there's two. Okay. 
To top it off, uh, I'm going to use almond milk. The reason why I chose almond milk over normal milk or water is because this has uh, a lot more calcium and a lot more vitamin in it. So it's uh, a lot more of a richer milk. So yeah, I'm going to finish it off with some almond milk. And I tell you what, it tastes absolutely top draw. So, like I said, with the shake, you've covered everything in there. We've covered the vitamins, we've covered the minerals, we've covered the zinc, we've covered the magnesium, good source of carbohydrates, and like I said, we're getting 60 grams plus protein in one shake. Uh, when to take the shake is entirely up to you. But what I tend to do is have it as a pre-workout meal. So what I'll have is one of these uh, before my workout and then have it as a post-workout as well. So a pre and a post-workout. So therefore it gives me enough window to also get two meals in there, so two hard meals. With the two hard meals, I'll keep it very simple. So uh, as we're looking at about 125 grams to 150 grams of chicken with about 100 grams of rice or sweet potato, any source of carbohydrates. Because it's ramen, I don't need to go into too much depth in terms of uh, what source of protein or what source of carbohydrates but if you can get two additional meals in of uh, 150 gram of protein and 100 grams of carbohydrates and you get the two shakes in with pretty much uh, what can I say mastered the nutritional side of it in them four hours but yeah like I was saying the fast will just say open at half eight so if at half eight you get one of the shakes in uh, hypothetically you get a session in at nine o'clock nine till ten so 10 o'clock, get another shake in. So you've got your two meals in there. So from 10 all the way till three o'clock, you've still got your opportunity to get your two meals in, which would be your 150 grams of protein and your 100 grams of carbohydrates. So therefore it's not so difficult, is it? So yeah, if you look at it in that aspect, it's basic nutrition cost, so very simply. So yeah, that's uh, the nutritional advice which I'll be giving out for this Ramadan. All right, so this aspect, what I'm gonna talk about is the training aspect of Ramadan. Obviously, I've covered the nutritional side of it, but the training aspect of it is also very, very important. As you know, we're going to be fasting for 19 to 20 hours, so the gap is not very big. So when the gap's not very big, uh, the training aspect, we've got to make full use of it. So it's not like it's going to be a full four session. So choosing the exercises and the intensity of the exercises uh, is going to be extremely vital. Uh, what I would recommend is break it into a three-day split. So push, pull, and legs. How you will break the push side of it will be shoulders, chest, and triceps and the pull side of it will be back and biceps and then the legs completely by themselves on each day I will break it down in terms of a compound movement for each day so for the push day a compound movement would be a bench press on one time next time it comes around a shoulder press uh, for the leg uh, for the pull day I would uh, do a deadlift if not deadlift uh, bent over rows uh, and for the leg day, uh, I would always say squats. The reason why I say incorporate a compound movement in there is because it's engaging a lot more muscle fibers, so we're getting more quality out of the time. Furthermore, with the compound movements, we're releasing some sort of natural testosterone and natural growth, which is gonna be great in order to maintain some sort of size or some sort of oomph during the month of Ramadan. Uh, that's ideally how we we'll break it. In terms of the training side of it, for more in-depth training programs, uh, I'll be selling them, so therefore uh, do check out the Instagram and Facebook for uh, tailor-made plans. As you know, because we've got four to five hour gap, it's very important to get the right nutrition in. So while we're training, I've covered the pre-workout and the post-workout meal, but there's also should be intra-workout in there. So while during the intra-workout, it's important to fuel yourself up about one and a half to two litres of water. But with the one and a half to two litres of water, get some sort of Vitago in there. So. Um, Vitalco is a clean source of carbohydrates. So if we could put two scoops of this in, uh, where one scoop is 30 grams of carbohydrates, two scoops will be 60 grams of carbohydrates. So if we could drink that while we're training, with the shake, with the two shakes and the two meals, we're well on, got a great schedule. Furthermore, in that, if you could put some BCAs in there, this would be great for recovery. So uh, I'm just hypothetically talking on the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, when you're training, 
but we've got the BCA in that two litres of water in there, it will be great. And while we're training, we're still getting the two litres of water in. So we've covered uh, the nutritional side of it and the training side of it with some sort of ergogenic aids. I hope this vlog's been very beneficial to you guys. And like I said, I'll be putting a lot more in-depth stuff out uh, later on. So yeah, we'll hear this fatigue. Like, share, subscribe, we'll hear this fatigue. Yo, yo, everyone, it's Mikhail right here, and I just want to wish everybody a very happy Ramadan. Peace. Yo, what's going on? It's Momo Head Movement TV. Halamala Talavala. Uh, Ramadan Mubarak. Uh, big shout out to everyone observing this month. And a big shout out to Wahid Aesthetic. My brother. What's going on, people? Scott Swench, just a quick message. Wishing you a blessed and happy Ramadan. Shout out to Wahid and Aesthetic Health and Fitness Center. We're keeping the gym open later hours to accommodate for everyone. Ramadan Mubarak. What's going on, people? Just wishing everyone a blessed Ramadan. Shout out to Wahid Aesthetic. Everyone down at Aesthetic Health and Fitness Club. Ramadan Mubarak. What's going on people? It's Theo Robinson. Make sure you keep watching my boy Wahid and supporting him. Remember, Swench Gang to the world.